Hello friends, welcome to BISPtraining.com. My name is Sumit and from today onwards, I'm going to start a new video series for the Salesforce new product, which is known as Salesforce Analytics Cloud, or we used to call it as Web as well. So in this video, I will be covering the setup and configuration for Wave Analytics in Salesforce and also will show you how to upload data and generate a sample report on same. So before starting implementation and configuration, let me give you an overview on Salesforce Analytics or Web. So what is Salesforce Analytics? It is also known as Web. It was a major product announced by Dreamforce 14 by Salesforce. The analytic cloud is a new age cloud business intelligence tool built on the web platform. The analytic cloud is a Salesforce product, much like the sales and service cloud. We can buy this product and start using it out of the box. However, wave is the platform that the analytic cloud is built on by using wave we can quickly generate reports and dashboards and then we can share the dashboards with the clients or with our users salesforce wave analytic is a cloud-based platform for connecting data from multiple sources creating interactive views of that data and sharing those views in the dashboards it's a better view to distribute insight to business users so they can understand and take action on changing information. It works on search based technology by using wave. The partner app companies will be able to build their own BI application using wave platforms. Now let's talk about the key concept of analytic cloud. So the key concepts are there are four main concepts explore collaborate cloud and mobile. Explore in the sense by using analytic cloud the questions the users can ask questions across CRM or ERP or from any kind of external data sources that what say what what how much total sale have been done or what would the expected profit I would be getting in the uh, next financial year or uh, if I would like or if I would like to do the comparison between the financial year the sale between the previous financial year and the current financial year that would be done very quickly simply by just on a click collaborate have all discussion and their answers at one place cloud as a as it's an analytic cloud so it can be quickly up and run without any installation required like for other traditional bi tools we need to download and set up the bi tools to be designed and develop reports and dashboards Whereas in analytic cloud, we don't need to set up. There is no an installation is not required for the same and it can be quickly up and run and it can be accessed from any part of the globe and 24 by 7 accessibility is there to the analytic cloud mobile uh, as because it's a cloud method. So it can be accessed. It can be easily accessed on mobile devices as well. So everything is on go and get reports on hand devices, hand devices, multimedia devices which have got internet connection so that they can access the analytic cloud reports generated by web through web technology web platform. You might be thinking to yourself that why would I need analytic cloud? The reports and dashboard they provide the graphical representation just fine. Then why should why would I need analytic cloud when we have reports and dashboard available in Salesforce? Now it depends on the type of business work you work for. So this statement may very well hold true. Not all companies are going to have a need for the analytic cloud. However, for the one that do, it will be done to down to limitation of Salesforce reports and dashboards. So let's look at the differences between the analytic cloud versus reports and dashboards in Salesforce. If you are familiar with Salesforce and have done reporting in Salesforce might ask question that how it is different from Salesforce reports and dashboards. Analytic moved completely through cloud where a Salesforce reporting will analyze reports and dashboards and in Salesforce reporting we have access only to the Salesforce data and that data will be real time data it means that when report is being run after run after build 
it shows the available data into that report and now just imagine that uh, a new data has been added into the real data then next time when we run report again it will show the updated report it will show the updated data in that particular report so salesforce reporting always deals with the real time data always works on real time data whereas in analytic cloud we used to design we used to explore with lenses and dashboards the dashboards will share with the users by with the help of analytic cloud or by using analytic cloud we can not only connect not only we can ex generate reports or create reports on salesforce data but also we can extract the data from outside or also we can extract data from external sources as well and in analytic cloud schedule update is possible it means that we can schedule the update or we do not need to refresh it manually so either we can sorry we either we can refresh it manually or we can schedule and export that after us after a uh, specific interval the report the data will get refreshed automatically and the report uh, and the dashboard will refresh based on the the dashboard will updated according to the updated data so that's why the analytic cloud is getting popular as compared to the salesforce reporting next we have the analytic cloud components so analytic cloud cloud components starts with the data set so first of all we have a data set now what is this data set as the name says it all for this one a data set it's simply a set of data the simplest language can be used for data set that it's a set of data data in data set can be loaded either from salesforce sap or from external csv files in excel file which will be in csv format so the data can be uploaded into data set so data sets basically holds the information for example it could be a list of opportunities or a list of users you may also might have an uh, augmented data set which basically combines two data sets into one uh, for example we can have opportunity line item and opportunity information and combine to form a single data set next we have lenses lenses it's a particular view into a data set data it's where you we do exploratory analysis and visualization or it is basically a single report based on the data set in analytic cloud in lenses we can build a bar graph or a line graph or a pie graph or the graphs which are available we can design we can uh, prepare reports within lenses by using the data set by extracting the data from data set then we have dashboard so this dashboard is similar to the dashboard we have in salesforce instance so the web da dashboard is a combination of reports also known as lenses with possible filters links images etc dashboards in analytic or in wave analytics can be shared with other people to answer their particular questions and then we have data set lens dashboard and all of them will be put under app so this app basically it's a fancy word for a folder or it's a kind of a package that the data set lenses and dashboard they will be combined together in one app so instead of calling it a folder we used to call it as an app it contains data sets lenses and dashboard within itself and in analytic cloud or in wave analytics we have two types of apps private app and shared app private app only visible to the user to the owner and shared app will be shared among other users as well so that's the introduction about analytic cloud or wave analytics now let's have a look how can we configure wave analytics or how can we uh, customize a wave analytics in salesforce by default when we logged in into salesforce when we registered and logged in into salesforce the wave analytics will not be enabled so by going into setting properties we we need to enable it for an individual user and then we would be able to work on wave analytics so first of all let's have a look how can we configure it 
so the best way to register for wave analytics is with trailhead so we'll get some sample data sets sample database and sample application for trailhead so we'll visit this link https developer.salesforce.com promotions.org web d and i'm going to provide my details over here i'm going to provide my details and the company name bsp india and provide the details so i'll just submit let's say 2007 2016 at the rate bsp.com and read it and sign me up so it will check for the duplicate username whether username already exists if username does not exist it will give a message to check the email to confirm the account now we need to check our account to confirm it and to set a password for our account so you can see i got an email for config for verifying my account so we need to click on this link we need to click on this link and when we clicked on this link the account will be verified and will be we are will be able to set the password for this account and after that we'll be able to log in into our account so you can see I have registered successfully and I have logged in into Salesforce as well and it is showing me trailhead data manager so we can skip it right now and we can switch to sales to have a look our sales account sales we have uh, everything is similar everything is same like we have in default registration like we have in developers account call center marketing app launcher only new thing you can have a look here is you can see here if wave analytics and trailhead data manager trailhead data manager is the default application uh, sorry it's a custom application which is designed by which is which come along with this account apart from this we have wave analytics option this wave analytic option will be used to work on analytic cloud so i'm going to use this wave analytics just in case if you are not getting this wave analytics in your list over here so in that case you need to make some changes into your settings into your account settings so just click on setup let me show you that how to do the uh, how to make the changes into it so click on setup manage users users and i look for the username click on username scroll down and here look for edit assignment see permission set license assignment click on edit assignment and when you click on edit you will have a you will see that you have analytic cloud wave analytics platform analytic cloud explorer and sales analytics app and sales console user so we are not going to use the sales console app user but i'm going to work on analytic cloud wave analytics platform as well as analytic cloud explorer so i'm going to check both of them and you can have a look here that if we check this what kind of permissions are given to the to the specific user so i'm i have given this permission to myself only if you want to give this permission to other users as well then you need to get to its property page change click on the edit option in the permission set license agreement of that particular user and give permissions from here so by giving these permissions i will be able to access wave analytics sql editor create and edit wave analytic dashboard i will be able to use wave analytics measure wave analytics edit wave analytics data flow and so on and once i make the changes into it i'll just save it so i have already give permission to myself and then i switch to i click on wave analytics and as soon as I click on wave analytics, it will redirect me to the wave analytics platform where we can design lenses and dashboards by using data sets. So as I've told you that we have two types of apps available. So one is the private app. Another one, another one is shared app. So any app which you want to share with other users, you can put under shared apps or any app you want to make it private. And we can save it under private app so we have options here for we can click on private apps and we can have a look what are the options available so when I click on my private app it says your app is little lonely because there are no data set no lenses or dashboards here similar way if I get to the shared apps 
in shared app this is also blank so because right now this is a blank analytic account and we haven't designed any lenses or dashboard here so to create a lens the first thing we have to do is we need to set we need to load the data set so i click on data set to load the data set so click on data set and you can see it says no item find so either we can click on apps and click on private app and within private app we can load data set so i click on data set to load a data set so i create a data set a dashboard or a data set because we can create lenses only if we have data sets and also we can create dashboard if we have lenses so first i'm going to load data set so click on data set now you can see here we can load the data set either from informatica or csv file or is from salesforce so i'm going to load the financial data set which i have available so in my on my local drive so i click on csv and we can add external data file maximum 500 mb or we can add metadata file named as uh, mainly in json file so we can add it so i click on select drag file and click on d drive data sets and let's suppose i add here financial data and make sure that this will be only in csv formatted file so you can see only all csv formatted excel files are coming it will not load simple excel file it will load only csv formatted files so i select financial data click on open and then click on we can give a provide a name here so i give a name financial data set i where would you like to store this data set under private app or shared app so i by default i go with private app and create data set it says your data set will be created within the hour but it will it will not take much time so it will be created quickly so we can have a look in data monitor what's the process going on so you can see the data is still running i have earlier loaded two data sets and then removed it so you can see it's showing it's running it's a running process we can refresh job and we can have a look that it's successful it means the data has been loaded successfully let's go and check whether data has been loaded or not so i click on wave analytics data sets and you see financial data set is coming so it will list all the data sets if you click on lenses it will list all the lenses as same for dashboard same for apps and if you click on all it will list everything all the apps or dashboard or lenses or data sets now we have our data set here data set has been loaded successfully so i click on data set and as soon as i click on data set by default it forms a lens so you can see automatically it creates a lens when we clicked on the data set so either we can directly click on the data set to create a lens or we can get to our app and from app we can click on lens sorry choose data set from there and then quickly click on the data set available within the data, within that app and as soon as you click on this again it will create a new lens so and you can see here we had here we have majors and group majors and groups are similar to we have dimensions and facts in our bi tools so it they are similar to dimensions and facts then uh, i would like to customize it so for customization we have various option for example we can uh, we can change the visualization into various charts available different charts available or first of all let me add a measure to this instead of count i'm going to add sum of amount sum of amount and i'm going to add add a measure we have i have already added sum of amount and group wise so i'll say group is region wise so i would like to show sum of total sum region wise total expenditure done region wise and then i can customize it instead of uh, like this bar chart i can go for i can customize it we have an filter option here 
if you want to apply filter we can apply filter on this financial elements so it shows all finance you want we want to show all financial elements so we can add it so it will uh, it will customize according to that again if you want to filter it so or if you want to remove any filter we can quickly click and the filter will be removed we want to make sort so we can sort ascending ascending order so various customizations are available and quickly we can visualize this report in uh, we can visualize this lens in different chart like we can i can create a donor chart for same or i can go for a scatter plot chart or heat map or timeline i can create a timeline here timeline is basically we have for time analysis or if you want a values table so we can quickly create values table here so that we can visualize it quickly or i'll go with the bar chart by default sum of amount and i add a group here region wise along with this the wave analytics provide or within this lens one more feature is given that is view history when you click on view history you can see the change the uh, action which you have taken so this history will help you to get back to the previous state whichever you like for example uh, i started from the change to bar or change pie chart so if i want to quickly get to the pie chart instead of getting to the visualization uh, instead of instead of get, customizing it again i can quickly click on chart type change to pie and it will quickly customize it and we can have it. so that's how this history will help us if you want to share this chart we have an option here to share and we can share with a specific user or a specific group of user or we have an option to download so we can download this as an image and share through an email also we have an option to save it so we can save this lens basically we are saving this lens so instead of this i'll save this lens region wise expenditure and i would like to save it under my private app and save it so you can see a name has been given uh, the lens has been renamed and then we can either we can clone it or we can delete it so we have other options as well and once we done with the lens we can close it quickly so to create a dashboard i quickly click on create dashboard create dashboard and blank dashboard in the di dashboard designer or create and add content manually so i'll go with continue i click on continue and uh, not now not now and you can see we have got a uh, it's showing flex dashboard designer so we can use this dashboard designer for it so i quickly click on chart to add a chart so we have an option here for dashboard designer like i click on new dashboard from flexi dashboard designer i switch to the default dashboard we have an option here flex dashboard designer so first of all to add a chart so i click i, I we have an option this is the canvas where we can design our chart so we can put multiple charts you can see we can have different charts we, i can add multiple charts here I, we can only you can only place the chart where it turns into blue if it turns into red it means you can't add a chart over there and we can do some customization so i click on properties and i set the background color so that we can it looks nice and stop it now next i would like to provide the data to this like we used to do in salesforce in reports and dashboard when we design a dashboard in dashboard we need we add components and then we need to provide the data set similar way in analytics we in this dashboard we need to provide the data set so to provide the data set we have option for creating a step so i click on a step and i can create steps so i can create multiple steps by using the financial data set existing data set or any data data set which is available in our app so i create quickly create region wise region wise sum of amount save it this is one data set i can add one more data set here i can create one more step here let's suppose i would like to count the total number of product 
we have in all the regions or I delete this group and I create the yeah so that's the total number of records for the uh, available regions and we can customize it so I'll go for donut and save it and now I can quickly drag and drop the regions one I drag and drop here two and as well as we can drag and drop this region here and obviously the customization is permitted so we can customize the chart type we can customize the chart type from here quickly same for this we can customize the chart type and if I want to go for stacked column we have an option for stacked column or stacked bar or column chart or waterfall we can go for waterfall so that's how we can quickly create dashboards in uh, wave analytics and once it is done I'll save this and give a name BISP dashboard and save it so let's have a look on wave analytics and we'll from here we can have a look at what that how many dashboards we have there or how many data sets we have been loaded so that's the dashboard that's the lens and now if I would like to share we have an option here to share I can quickly share it with the users or up or with a group of people or we can get the URL for this I can share this URL on my website so that the users they can access this you can access this dashboard directly from a website so let's have a look I provide the link here and they can quickly get to that particular dashboard similar way I can download it I can download this dashboard and I can share along with as an image or through an email so that's all in this video I hope you found this video interesting and this will help give you an overview of wave analytics or salesforce analytics if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bisptrainings.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on wave analytics in salesforce keep watching have a nice day goodbye